I officially think this is it. This is the Racing Sims final form. This is as realistic and immersive as it can possibly get. But let me tell you, it was a, uh, a journey to get it here. So my past couple of videos on this channel have been some sort of variation of this is the most realistic racing sim ever. And in every video I make some sort of upgrade, whether it's a new wheel, whether it's a new wheel base, whether it's a new monitor. And I keep making these little baby steps towards the most immersive sim that I can possibly have. Each time I do one of these upgrades, I really do convince myself that that is, you know, the last step, the, the most immersive it can possibly be. And then I keep finding something new and something I didn't know would help. So I've made, what, three or four of these most realistic racing sim ever videos. But this, the one behind me, this, uh, this tops it all. In my head, the last change that I wanted to make was to physically mount the new monitor on the sim itself so that when the sim moves, the monitor moves as well, just to make it more immersive. Little did I know that in order for the sim to be able to support the weight of the monitor, I had to upgrade all three of the motors that actually move the platform in the first place. Even littler did I know that that is a huge job for someone that's not very mechanically savvy. I am not exaggerating when I say that this job took me close to 30 hours I was clocking in 12 hour days, watching YouTube videos, trying to follow tutorials, but certain things were different. I was going insane. Eventually I was able to fully disassemble the sim, you know, down to each and every bolt, fully replace and essentially rebuild these motors and put it all back together with the new monitor mounted. Probably a super simple job for someone that knows what they're doing, but I'm actually very proud of myself for, for getting it done with no knowledge. That being said, she is an entirely new beast now. And because of that, I wanted to experience with a uh, new method of filming these videos. Okay, so we are gonna be trying things <clears throat> a little bit different here. No idea if you guys uh, like how this look. I don't even want you guys to know what I look like right now. So yeah, I guess, uh, <laughs> I guess here goes nothing. I'm hoping you can still get like a feel of the, of the movement from the, the POV here. You know, if I swing side to side, oh my God. Did you see that I'm, that I'm moving or no? This is all gonna be, all gonna be pretty experimental. This is my first time ever doing something, you know, like this, messing with the camera angle, so let me know. Figured we'd just go for a nice, uh, scenic cruise around Angeles Crest, Los Angeles. Whoa, okay. <laughs> we have the, uh, the C63S out right now, and this thing sounds absolutely unreal. <laughs> the difference is that the upgrade in the sim do are way more noticeable to me than they are to you. It's a bunch of little things with the uh, the new motors that I upgraded that just make it feel way, way more responsive and more realistic. But to you guys, it probably looks the same. For example, though, if I if I swing side to side like this, previously there'd be like a little like a dead zone in the middle where you'd feel it kind of rocking. Now when I do it, it feels like the sim is. God, I don't know how to put it into words. I don't know the the technical aspects of it enough, but it feels so much better. <laughs> I'm so curious to watch the footage of this and see if it looks as cool as it feels right now. The other, you know, quote unquote downside is that you guys can see from the GoPro angle here that I have a, a big, you know, 45 inch ultra wide monitor, but because it's a YouTube video, you guys see a cropped in version that's, you know, 1920 by 1080. So I feel like, you know, what I see is, <laughs> is way more immersive than what you see, but that's why I wanted to add the, the POV angle because hopefully it, it's able to, you know, show a bit more of the immersive. I don't know, let me know if you guys like this or the old the old sim videos better. This car feels like it handles so good. Like, it definitely gets squirrely when you give it gas because it's rear-wheel drive, but that's how it would be in real life, you know what I mean? All right, let's try to actually, let's stay in our own lane here. We're gonna pretend we're actually on Angeles Crest right now, but we know there's no cars because I would never cross the double yellow in real life. I just want to see if we can actually stay in our lane, or remotely stay in our lane at least. Oh, we got close there! Oh! <laughs> this thing is so fun to drive. Oh! That feels crazy when you start to lose traction, but you can you can save it. Th 
This is unreal, dude. Oh, there we go. I lost it right there. And that's why we do it in a sim and not real life. All right, let's see how uh, see how drifting feels. I feel like this will be cool because you can see the um, the shifter and you can see the the handbrake. You know. All righty. Simple, slow and steady. It's been a while. Let's see if we still got it. It's gonna start out a bit rocky because it's been a little bit. See, I'm not doing it very smooth. Like you can see my my hand motions, are like, <laughs> but like I'm I'm making it. You know, I'm not spinning out. The whole point of the sim for me is to be able to take my S13 out in real life and have like a decent understanding of what I'm doing. I'm just not sure how well it'll translate to real life, but I guess we'll find out. That felt decent. I'm gonna try to get this one without handbrake. There we go. And then the rest of the track is pretty chill. God, this sim feels so good, man. I'm not sure if, I mean, I don't know if you guys can get a feel of the movement from watching the, uh, the monitor. E-brake, no? Okay. This one I usually mess up for some reason. Oh, there we go. Whew! That felt good. You know I'm in the zone when I'm not even talking. <laughs> I'm just fully, fully immersed. I forgot I was filming a video right now. I'm gonna try to bring it all the way back into the pits. With the starting zone, I guess. God, that is, that is exhilarating. True POV, we can actually, I, mean, I wish I had like a, a cup holder so I could, I could, it could be real life. Ah, that's good. This will be cool. I want to try like an actual, like the actual no hezzy server. We'll take out the Porsche. Yeah. Oh, come take a seat. Here we go. Okay. I think I bound a windshield. There we go. So for anyone not familiar with no Hezzy, it's a, it's a multiplayer server. Why are there no cars? Oh, there they are. I was tripping out for a sec. Okay. So essentially it's a, it's a public multiplayer server where you have traffic and you get to be a rebellious driver in real life. And for whatever reason, it is so unbelievably fun and satisfying. I've never taken, I've never driven the Porsche though. Every car is a little bit different with the sim. Like if I was really into it, I could go through and fine tune the settings per car, if that makes any sense. I'm just not that deep into it yet. You know, I have the cars that I I normally drive and I tune it to feel like that. I feel good with those. Eventually I might go through and, you know, tune it per car. This one does feel like a little bit like like floaty. Like I feel like I can up the um the force feedback on the wheel. Oh my god! God. Holy shit! Oh, there's no more gears in this thing? Okay. Meow. 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 Oh my god, I'd be... Oh, oh that's it. That's it! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god. <sighs> that was insane. Whee! See, like, I, I couldn't do this with, with the previous version of the sim. It would feel way too, like, 
rickety. The new motors make a huge, uh, huge improvement. Why do I keep thinking there's one more gear here? That's how you know I've never driven a Porsche in real life. Oh, watch out, Prius! The brakes are good, though. That is so exhilarating, dude. Through the tunnel, come on. Come on. Oh, no, damn. Oh. oh my god. Oh, it was a GT63S. Not a C63S. See, I don't really know Mercedes that well. I just know C63. Okay. Well, I know the GT63S drives well. I feel like I've gotten like, <laughs> like a legit workout, like I'm stressed. Alrighty. It is now nighttime. Yeah, see, I think that's all it is. I think for the Porsche, I just gotta up the force feedback because the wheel feels way more sturdy on this car. Like, it feels more like a real car, less like a game. That's why, like, I just like sticking with the cars that I'm familiar with. Like, I tuned the sim to this car, so it feels really good for this car. It's just a lot of work to go through, you know, each individual car to find what, what feels good. But I guess it really does make the experience better. Usually while I'm in this server, I'll find someone that'll like link up with me and, you know, cut up through traffic with me. So far, I haven't found anyone yet, though. Cut all the way through there. There we go. I can kind of just cheat and stay on the shoulder if I wanted. But that's no fun. I like to try to make it challenging. You know? Maybe a little too challenging. It's so satisfying when you make one that you don't exactly think you're gonna make. Like that right there. Or like that. Oh Let's go. I don't condone doing this in real life. I just, I can't believe that people do this in real life. Like if I'm this exhilarated through a video game, I, I couldn't, I could never, <laughs> I could never do this in real life. I'm panicking right now. Woo! Oh, I would have just clipped them for sure. I mean, I did just clip them. But in real life, that would have been much higher consequences. And then, sorry, sorry, Audi. Thank God, like it's their fault. I'm the one driving like an absolute menace to society over here. That would be so fun to have um, like blinker stocks like you do in real life. Cause I, I think I bound, actually I don't know if I bound it. Uh, oh no, I bound it to my, my view, my glance options. But I think I used to have like these side buttons bound to blinkers. So if I, you know, I'm cutting right, I blink right and then go. But imagine having actual blinker stocks. I think that'd be sick. This is like, I, 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 
it, it's hard for me because I know my last couple of videos have been about the sim, and I, I, I consistently say like, oh, this is the most realistic, this is the most immersive feeling ever. But this new, like this upgrade with the monitor mounted to the sim, so like when I move, the monitor moves with the new motors. It is yeah, unfathomably real. I also got the, the new Oculus too, and I, I'll make a separate video on that. But I was messing with the, the new Oculus and VR with the new motors on the sim. And it, there is, I don't think, at least I've never experienced something more like a sim more immersive than this. So it is such, such a cool, a cool feeling. <laughs> I, 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 I do this so often, even not filming or anything. This is my life now. This is who I am. Come on. Do I have a horn? Get out of the way. I'd love to have a real, <laughs> like a real horn mounted there. Oh boy. Yeah, this, 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 properly tuned, this is insane. Oh! <laughs> no, 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 Pull over. Ooh. Oh my god, I'm so, everything. Look at, dude, can you see my hands from just squeezing the wheel so hard? Holy shit. Alright, I want to drift. Let's try a different... A different drift track, maybe? Alright, because drifting's pretty much why I got the sim in the first place. Or, like, one of the bigger reasons was to actually, you know, train without damaging my, my real car. <laughs> I can't get over that sound. Okay. Even just the, like, whoa, how, how far I lean forward on the hills. It just, like, I cannot put into words how much better it feels. I didn't know that it was missing this much, I guess is the best way that I could put it. I, I thought previously with the old motors, I didn't think it could, could get better than that. Alright, I don't know this course at all. I think I've played it a couple times. It's been a while though. I remember this tightening. Yep. Okay. I'm actually doing pretty damn good. Drop into third. Might have to go. Oh, I swung that. Oh, that was decent. Yeah, that actually, that actually. I'm doing better than I thought. Oh. I would love some actual pointers. You know, if anyone that watches my videos are actually into either both sim racing or drifting in real life. Um, I would love pointers on both ends just to make the overall experience more uh, more enjoyable. So let me know, please. Although I'm killing it compared to how I used to be. Like that was a full lap first, first try relatively okay like I stayed on track. I know you're not supposed to get in the habit of relying on the e-brake but certain, uh, I used to use it right there, but. I, okay, I do, that's what I do a lot. My line gets messed up and I take one corner good and then I end up in the wall or in the cones on the next turn. And that's something I'm trying to work on. Wow, the, the, the cones actually move. That's sick, okay. Like watch, I'll probably do it here. I take this one decent and then here, Yep, see? Oh my god, see how I, I swung it too wide? How do I fix that? Maybe I like initiate the the second corner earlier. So like now? Ugh, no. <laughs> no, not at all actually. Ready, start it from here. Oh, we're wide. We're wide, I can feel my back wheels on the grass. Brought it in. A little bit of left foot braking. Okay. And uh, then we're gonna swing that too wide because that's just what I do. Yep, <laughs> there we go. How do I fix that? And how would I do the first one so good? Uh, 
That was fun, actually. Hold on. I just want to try... I just want to try an e-brake initiation. Even though I know, like, the, the proper way to do it is just by, you know, clutch kick or, you know... We're just going this way. Just because I want to feel a, uh... E-brake initiation. See? That's more fun, man! That's way more fun! Hold on. Yeah, I have, um, I have a lot to learn. Maybe that's, <laughs> that's how we word it. Oh, okay. Let me, let me step out of the vehicle here. Oh, baby. A lot of experimenting in this video with the, uh, the new sim, the, the chest mount camera angle for the YouTube videos. Let me know if you guys enjoy it. I, I've been loving the sim content lately, so hopefully you have too. I'll be reading the comments. Peace out.